Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best ways to fix FPS drops, fix lagging and stuttering, and overall increase the performance of your Fortnite in Chapter 5 Season 3. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end. Comment down your current GPU in the comments below, and with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential Windows settings. For that, press the Windows key and search for settings. Once you're here, go all the way down to gaming and then over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling it will help you increase your performance. After that, go back to gaming, then go to game mode and turn this on. Game mode when turned on will help you reduce the number of apps running in the background and turn off notifications that ultimately pop up in your game, giving you better FPS. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Graphic settings. Simply go over to this, click on change default graphic settings and enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for Windows games. Both of them will help you to reduce your input latency as well as increase the performance of your games by using GPU to render. After that, go back to graphics and right over here, click on the browse button and then go to the install location of your game. Once you're here, go over to binaries, Win64, and in here you'll find Win64Shipping.exe. Click on add and it's already added to my list. Find it, click on it, go over to options and then click on high performance, then click on save. Step number two is compatibility tweaks. The best compatibility settings and for that, Go to the install location of Fortnite. Once you locate your folder, go down to Fortnite Game Binaries, Win64, and you'll find Win64Shipping.exe. Right-click on it, go over to Properties, and then go to Compatibility. Then click on Disable Full Screen Optimization. Change High DPI Settings, and then check Override High DPI Scaling Behavior. Click on OK, and then OK on here as well. Step number three is disable unwanted startup apps. Disabling unwanted startup apps, and for that, press Control plus Shift plus Escape all together in your PC. Go over to Startup Apps, and over here, disable all the apps that you do not want to boot up with your PC. I know some of you might be annoyed because Discord and other apps are some of the first things that open when you turn on your PC, so I'm doing you a favor by preventing that. It will help you to reduce your boot up time and it will also help you to reduce the number of applications and processes running in the background, which you do not really need. This will ensure that your system has a lot more free resources to be utilized for your games. Next step is disable unwanted services. Disabling unwanted services, if that search for MS Config in your PC or open up system configuration, go to the services section, click on hide all Microsoft services and disable all unwanted services such as fan control service, Adobe, and browser update service, RGB and fan control services, and a lot more. This will help you to reduce the number of services running in the background, ultimately giving you better performance in the game. A point of warning, also know what services you're disabling and do not disable important ones like anti-cheat. Okay, once you're in your game, best in-game settings. Press your escape key and then go over to settings right over here. For the window mode, I highly recommend you guys to select full screen. And then for the resolution, you can lower it down to get extra FPS. However, I would prefer you guys to use the native resolution of your monitor. Right after that, you'll find VSync. Simply turn this thing off. For frame rate limit, set this to your monitor's refresh rate. Rendering mode, once again, I use performance, lower graphical fidelity. However, you can use DirectX with DLSS or AMD FSR to get extra FPS or increase your performance. Then scroll all the way down to 3D resolution. If you're playing on lower graphical fidelity, you can keep it to 70 to 100% as it will be the best one for you. And then for the view distance, I have kept it to epic, but you can keep it to far. For textures, keep it on low. Meshes, I keep it on high because I don't like how mobile builds look. But if you need more FPS, put it on low meshes. Show FPS, turn it on. Once that is done, go to the sound settings and right over here, scroll a little bit down until you find sound quality. And this is very important. Keep it to low if you are struggling, but if you're not, I highly recommend setting this to high to have the best possible sound quality because Fortnite sound is pretty bad. And once that is done, simply press on the apply button and now you're good to play Fortnite with the best settings possible on your PC. And that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash your subscribe button as it really helps me out. Also, we're really close to 2,000 subscribers and a subscription would be really, really appreciated. We'll see you guys in the next amazing video. Until then, stay tuned and peace out.